Okay, what kind of tools you are using? Sorry? What kind of tools you are using in AWS? AWS, we are using uh, mostly the servers are on EC2 server cloud computing uh, and we are using services like uh, VPC and uh, we have, since we have multiple accounts, so uh, the IAM plays main role by switching the account, assume role policy, we are using the switching account from the one uh, master account to child accounts. So IAM policy, uh, IAM users, uh, identity and access management and uh, EC2 and uh, CloudWatch and uh, load balancers and uh, they are other like a, on DB base uh, in RDS we have uh, Oracle servers and uh, although for OS level support we have a separate teams for Linux and Windows we have separate teams to support we are supporting from the infra level in AWS so we are uh, we are using like almost like a, as per the IAS uh, infra level uh, on EC2 load balancer VPC, Route 53, IAM, and all this. Okay. Which model you are using in your company? Uh, which model? What? IAS. IAS. Infrastructure as a services. Okay. Yeah. Your team size is three members. Yeah, technical people are three. Uh, as a whole, five. Support one in matching. Yeah, three. And uh, we have like a in between, uh, since new projects are keep coming, so we have build part also. So new build deployment also we are doing uh, that keep coming. So last year I did, uh, I was part of build activities. Uh, other than that, we are doing maintenance and support. Okay. Uh, coming directly to intro questions. Yeah, yeah. How do you choose right AMI for creating an instance? Right. AMI, Amazon machine using. How you yeah, yeah. on what basis, basis you choose? <laughs> yeah, it's entirely depend on the application. If it is a, a like a highly, uh, uh, we have like both Amazon. We are using Amazon uh, based AMIs, and we have OS hardened images also as well. Uh, we have like for Linux, we had a RHEL OS hardened images in which we have from the security team they have enabled this. Uh, the security part, uh, what to allow, what to not allow, the checklist. And uh, for Windows servers, uh, we have like a Windows team uh, that who have provided a golden image which we are using here. So there were SCOM alerts and all those things, the prerequisite things for the monitoring purpose which are already enabled. For SCOM tools and like uh, other tools, Negios tools, so that is also out there. And for Jumpbox and Bastion servers, we are using uh, simply AWS image server, image, uh, AWS provided images. So it's uh, entirely based on the application, uh, how application made it, and type of instances we are choosing on the basis of that. If it is a high computation required, then we are using C type of instances. And if it is a <coughs> memory intensive, like a database servers or something, we are using M type of uh, instances. If it is a high performance and uh, like a high IOPS type, then we are choosing uh, D types of instances. Uh, if it is a general purpose, then we are choosing T type of instances. Okay. okay. Yeah. How do you take automatic uh, backup? There is a DLM service. Uh, we have to first create the tags, uh, enable the tags. On the basis of, it's, uh, on the basis of that, uh, in the DLM service, uh, we have to like create the function. And uh, we have to, on the basis of tags, like uh, suppose uh, I want uh, daily backup and weekly retention. So I put like 1D plus 7D. So it will take the daily backup. And after seven days, it automatically terminate old backups in, a snap, uh, in the form of snapshots. We are taking the backups in a form of snapshots. <coughs> OK. You have an ECT instance. You have lost its key, key pair. Mm -hmm. OK. Then how you will you assess that instance? Yeah, we have a uh, several process, uh, like best one, like a uh, EC2 rescue. Uh, we can do the EC2 rescue. There is a online application, uh, AWS provided application, we have, which we have to download and we have to take the volume offline. And then we can reset the password using that key. Uh, or we have like a if you uh, AWS system manager also. From there also, uh, from that package also, we can also reset the key. Have you worked on EFS? 
Uh, no, I have. Uh, it's not used. I, I think around two year back, uh, I attached one EFS some uh, some of the servers, Linux servers. Okay. Uh, how do you host website with S3? Oh, host website with S3. Uh, S3. Uh, we generally use as a storage purpose. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, we have not used as a for hosting purpose. We use as a storage purpose only S3. Currently, so that experience like hosting website on S3, I do not have like a hands-on experience on that. Okay. Okay, what is VPC flow log? Flow log is like our monitoring purpose. Uh, if we have enabled the VPC flow log, then we have like a uh, option if something goes wrong. So from the VPC flow logs, we can track all this thing out. Uh, uh, for example, we had uh, some virus issue uh, a couple of months back. And uh, other than that, there are some servers who was uh, suspected and their IP was not found. So luckily we have enabled the VPC flow logs and the, from the CrowdWatch, uh, from, we, uh, from the logs, uh, we, from the insight in the, there is an insight in logs, so where we can uh, select the VPC flow logs and we have, throw the query, we can search the entire history of that uh, server if it was ever exist. So it's like a, a best tool for the managing purpose or something goes wrong if you want to type down with that. 